What up, my nigga? Hey, like and subscribe. I'm trying to get 12, 12 subscriptions on this uh, bitch-ass channel. Hey, uh, this is a 2000, uh, I believe it's a 2014 uh, F-150 six-speed with 100,000 miles and an EcoBoost, I mean a, a twin cam 3.5 liter. Anyway, uh, when I was cruising here about 60 miles an hour, it was doing like a shutter in the transmission kind of like a uh, like you're going over speed bumps like a bzzz, bzzz type of deal and it's kind of annoying me man and it was kind of bothersome um, and I'm kind of reiterating what what you could already find but I want to confirm to you that it was true it doesn't do it anymore I um, went to the Ford dealer did not replace the pan gasket but I um, Anyway, I changed the filter and fluid, and now it quit doing it. So changing the fluid and filter quit doing the problem. I do also happen to have a transmission flush machine. Um, the filled, I don't know anything about these new cars. To me, it's a 2014. Um, the fill tube is like a three-quarter nut on the passenger side, and then there's a little built-in dipstick. I think it uses the LV fluid, transmission LV style fluid. Um, so if you happen to have a... A transmission machine a flushing machine and you happen to have a thirty thousand dollar hoist which most people probably do um what you can do is you can drain the pan with your flush machine it just hooks up right in the, the front uh trans cooler very simple hookup i mean as simple as it gets it's a transmission cooler right in front of the radiator so you just tee into that transmission cooler and then you can drain the pan with your machine so that when you drop your pan, which they were eight millimeter screws, when you drop the pan, and one of them broke, but when you drop the pan, and I used the long extension with the universal to get the back by the crossover. Anyway, when you drop the pan, hopefully not as much food will come out. Anyway, I got a new filter, and I did not replace the gasket, because it was a reusable gasket. Um, and then I uh, put a new filter in there, torqued it down to whatever, 15 foot pounds, 12 foot pounds, and, uh, and uh, then I, Still, it got better, but it was not as bad. But I changed the filter, so then I went off and flushed it out. I bought two more gallons. Probably costed me about, I don't know, under two, close to two hundred dollars for the fluid and the filter. My cost at O'Reilly's and the dealer. Um, probably if you're a consumer and you go to a dealer, you probably end up. I would have to think you'd be spending at least four hundred. I mean, if the materials cost two, they got to pay the mechanic at least one. So you'd be looking for four or five hundred bucks for a flush and fill. I mean, how else are they going to do it unless they're going to use some generic improper fluids? But yeah, no, if you get a rolling vibration, like a bzzz, that was your, it's coming from the torque converter is what they tell me. And to my own surprise, new fluids solved the problem. So I'll, that was a cool trick, man.